as promised um, this is the follow-up to my EFIS installation video um, I don't know if it's going to work uh, <laughs> I've just noticed that there's the red flashing light from the camera but the EFIS is in place again we're in the hangar it's not the best of days um, put master switch on and turn the unit on and we'll see whether or not it'll pick it up on the camera so pass the maintenance and airframe timers and that's what we've got I'm not a hundred percent sure that that is something that's going to be working particularly well so I might have to just try changing the camera angle just a little bit hang on okay well we'll try this for a while although I think it's going to be a little bit twisted but it's looking a little bit weird from here but anyway um, I did make a couple of mistakes in the first video in as much as I said I was going to show you how I calibrated the machine well the machine doesn't actually need to be calibrated it's factory calibrated what I basically meant was um, I was going to show you how I configured the machine you will also notice that the uh, slip bubble is now absolutely centered um, you probably noticed at the end of the last video that it was out of kilter what happened was that the SP7 wasn't mounted absolutely square and because that was on the twist then everything else did but uh, we're now very happy with the way that that is centered um, so what I really wanted to do was just show you how this works aircraft flying over the top at the moment so by pressing in um, the rotary knob you get um, the menu come up um, by pressing menu you've now got all of the various um, setups by going into moving it across by going into the EFIS setup um, the main thing is you can go in and I've already done this I don't know whether it's going to be big enough to see so I might have to sort of rejig this again a different way but what I've done is I've gone through and I've um, ensured that it's configured to this aircraft so therefore um, the tape dial down the side now reads to the Jodel 1050 uh, which is really really useful that's all sort of set now um, and then to exit that one we come back onto the, to there um, you'll notice that we've got a magenta uh, heading at the top and that's because I haven't got an SP2 compass card and that's being read or reading from the um, the GPS but uh, what I would do is as I say go through here and go through all of the various setups it's a very very good manual that comes with everything to show you exactly how to work um, what you need to do in order to get the machine to produce the very very best but as I say I'm slightly worried because I'm looking at this and it's twisted and I know it's the sort of thing that really bugs me like mad but by pressing exit and coming out then that's your um, overall chart I don't need to go through what the various bits and pieces do because I'm sure that anyone who is interested has gone on to the various websites and seen what the uh, machine manual says but all I can say is it installed very very easily um, and I've given it one quick test fly what we do need to do is we do need to film it but I'm very very pleased with the overall outcome if you've uh, enjoyed it if you found it useful then please tick the like um, add a comment it was nice to get the comments backwards and forwards but uh, add a comment and if you're interested when I uh, upload another one then hit the subscribe in the meantime thanks for watching to the end